I remember Sunday walks in the park. Aubrey, I'm not sure visiting Italy is a good idea this time of the year. Mother, good evening. Jonathan, is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes, but this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Mother, do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. And you were there too. And Mary? No, that can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home. Father seems to have left me some documents. Some sort of treasure hunt game. Do you know anything about them? No, Johnny. But your father always loved to write these little games for you when you were a boy. Don't you remember? I remember now. He used to post me these riddles, as though they were sent by a mysterious games master. I'd spend weeks trying to decipher them. Your father was always so proud each time you found the answer. He was not just the serious doer banker everybody thought he was. I was proud too. How could I forget that? The important thing is that you remember it now. I'll tell your father the next time I see him. He'll be so happy. Could father have conceived some sort of final game for me before he left? I really can't say, Johnny. Perhaps you should talk with Avery about that. He was your father's confidant, more than I. 
Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan? I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral, right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. I found an old letter written by my father and addressed to me. Do you know anything about it, Avery? Your father wanted me to give you this letter for your 35th birthday, but you left for the war and the letter remained in his office until tonight. I realize now you knew my father better than I did. Do you know why he left, Avery? Did he ever speak to you about his departure? No, sir. Mr. Reed was not exactly forthcoming. Perhaps this letter will give you the information you require.
What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir, but your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan, but please return as soon as possible.